Just before the break, makeup expert Holly Bird Miller showed us how to apply concealer to enhance our overall face for a flawless, fresh faced look. Now she's going to give us a tutorial on the fundamentals to make eye makeup look spectacular. And Holly, this is just a basic eye that we're doing today, right? Just a basic eye, but it makes all the difference. It really does. A basic eye can carry you anywhere from the workplace to an, out, an, an evening out on the town. So it's really important to understand at least the fundamentals of how to create a basic eye. Well, let's get started and talk us through. Perfect. This is Taylor. She's lovely. She's got a flawless base finish here. And where are we going to start? So we're going to start Start in the crease and so what you want to do is you want to find a color that's about two shades darker than your flesh your skin tone okay and so that's going to kind of carve out that crease area and create some depth and dimension mm -hmm. so it's really important to do that and so I've chosen a matte color so it doesn't have a lot of finish, it doesn't have a lot of shine, but it's really gonna kind of carve out and create that definition that we want. All right, exhibit A of where I need to be staring <laughs> at this a little bit more closely, because mine has shimmer, and that's the difference. The shimmer uh, reflects that light, that matte just gives you a shadow enhancement. It does, it does. It really just, as I mentioned, it just kind of carves out that area and creates a lot of beautiful depth and dimension. And that crease area is where, what, almost at the back of the eyeball, the eyelid, and right at the bottom of the brow bone? It is, so it's where your eye folds. So when you open your eye, open Taylor, when you open, it's kind of where the eye folds. So mm -hmm. you really wanna focus on carving out your crease. So right where your eye folds, and then you can just kind of sweep that shadow into that area. Okay. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna kinda blend it out a little bit more in a, in a moment. All right, we have about three minutes. You've got, given us the, the first step of crease. Yes, so then the next step is to apply an eyeshadow close for me on the lid. So literally on um, that on the lid of your eye, so right at the base here, we're gonna apply an eyeshadow right in this area. And that's, that can be any formulation. And eyeshadows come in mattes and they come in satins, glitters, lots of different formulations. Um, I've chosen kind of a bit of a satin for Taylor just for a little extra pop, mm -hmm. if you will. But that's a color that's closer to her flesh tone. So. And is this dealer's choice in terms of color? But you mentioned crease was two shades darker than flesh tone. Mm -hmm. so what color are we putting on the lid? Now I'm using something that's more, that's closer to her flesh tone. Okay. But you can go in a, in a number of different ways. It just kind of depends on the look that you're going for with your eyeshadow. But I just chose something that's closer to her flesh tone. Okay. And so again, this is a basic eye that you can wear anywhere. And then after we've done that, we'll take a blending brush. So it should be a fluffy brush. The brushes, the tools that you use are just as important. So you kind of want to just blend. You don't want to see where one color starts and the other color stops. Mm -hmm. So you literally just want to kind of blend those two colors together. And I, then, I know this is a loaded question, but I'm assuming too that we're all using brushes. Those are critical, right? You can't just absolutely. use the sponge applicator that comes in the little makeup kit. No, it's not gonna apply the product like you would like it to apply. So it's better to use brushes. brushes. And you can buy some inexpensive brushes. Okay. They, it's, it's really all it in the way. It makes all the difference. It makes all the difference. Okay. The next step I would recommend is an eyeliner. So dark brown or black is like a staple. You can't go wrong with it. You wanna get that liner really, really close to the base of your upper lashes super close you don't want to see any space or separation there so you just kind of want to fill that area in okay. that's also going to help to make your lashes look fuller at the base so that's a, a nice little trick if you get it really close to the base it's going to make your lashes look fuller and you want to create a bit of depth and dimension nice look okay we have about 45 seconds left and you're just doing it over the lash line it doesn't like necessarily cat's eye its way up there correct you can do a cat eye but this is just again a basic eye so this will work for just about anyone okay and then looking great yeah and then i applied a little bit of mascara on the um, lower waterline as well. And lastly, I would say mascara. You can't go wrong with black mascara. The blacker the better. Mm -hmm. It just helps to create that depth um, and really create that beautiful emphasis on your eyes. So I'm just finishing it off with a little mascara. All right, and see how easy that was? I mean, <laughs> whoa, hello. I mean, eye opening. It looks beautiful. Basic eye, yes. a great flawless base. Yes. Terrific. You can come learn the basics with Holly Bird Miller. She is having that workshop on Saturday, February 17th, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Holiday Inn Express and Suites in Tappahannock. We'll have all the information for registering on our website, wtvr.com slash VTM. It is going to be spectacular. I learned a lot here and I've, I've worked with you before and I'm still picking up tips. So this is fantastic. <laughs> Ladies, Thank thanks you. for being in.